Hello! Welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 26, I believe. Might be a little confused here, like I said at the end of the last episode. This is a bit of a uh, last minute edit back in. <laughs> Just trying to split the episodes in half. Uh, we're going to cut back down way below in a second here, uh, which I do have a convenient ability for. Yep, we have to go down below <laughs> to go fight um, the main boss, the uh, main event of tonight. Yeah. So. I will uh, also record some extra footage here <laughs> to slap on to the end, but um, yeah, let's cut back down there, back where we uh, actually left off, and um, get to actually finishing this level. And finally, we can go fight the boss. Now is my... okay, put the ring back on. <laughs> And let's go this way. Now, okay, this next boss fight is, uh, like, I sort of hinted to this earlier, that it's uh, unique, but it's uh, not exactly unique in the fun way. <laughs> um, it's not it's not too bad, right? Like, the fight itself, it, it, it mixes things up, right? I don't want to spoil too much, because we'll, we'll see in a minute here, though. So. But it's going to be very different than how most boss fights normally go. And for what it is, it's fun. Uh, the problem comes from the fact that uh, it's easy to die <laughs> and not for like fun reasons right like so most of Dark Souls I'll say is it's difficult but it's fair right it's gonna be very hard but like you know if you learn things properly you take your time you be patient you can overcome most of the challenges of Dark Souls this is one of the fights where things are just sort of cheap because um they uh, essentially they tried to make this a platforming game <laughs> all of a sudden. Uh, and Dark Souls, like you can kind of do platforming, but it's really not made for that. So you get these really kind of cheap deaths, and then since you're dying so often, as you can tell just now, it's it's a bit of a hike to get back, and it can just really become draining, dying and then coming back and dying, and coming back. But anyway, this is a uh, we're gonna do it the first time, right? Right? We're gonna. <laughs> We're just gonna get it done with, and not experience any of that pain. I think I think I suffered enough from the Titan Beam, so let's uh, let's just uh, try to do this right. So always do a well. What is it to get off and then start sliding? You can uh, you know shimmy back and forth. Okay, I take it back. I think this might actually be the lowest point <laughs> in the game for sure. Okay, break suits from branches, and here is the bed of chaos. And uh, this is actually the Witch of Isolith. Um, now, <laughs> if you remember the backstory of uh, Dark Souls, um, or the history as I was explaining two episodes ago, uh, the witch sort of tried to make her own first flame, and uh, chaos was the result. Well, the flame itself kind of consumed her, and ow. So she got consumed and just turned into this, which <laughs> is uh, obviously not her ideal form. But anyway, Anyway, we're kind of, we're kind of just okay. We gotta break these, these things. By the way, these like glowing hit markers on the side. She doesn't actually like. We can't hit her and do damage to her. We have to go to the right, do that, and then go to the left and do the same thing. Now, we have to be careful though, because after you break the first one, uh, the floor starts falling apart, and uh, there's two approaches. Right, you either sort of, uh, God, you either can try to be brave and jump between them which I might just do, or just try to get everything to crumble, and then go. Whoa. Okay, so I, I think we can squeeze through here. Yeah, this part can get kind of annoying. Whoa. Because, ah! Yeah, because especially once she starts waking up, she'll slap you around and knock you into the floor and stuff. Actually, I'm going to show you a trick here. Because <laughs> this fight is so annoying. You can actually quit out, and then um, it'll take you back to the start. And now, 
the unique thing with this boss is that it actually saves your progress, right? So the the thing on the right that we killed is still going to be dead. But now we're back here, so we don't have to jump back. <laughs> uh, we still only have two Estes, though, so let's see if we can finish it strong. But anyway, as far as what's actually happening, right? So when she started getting consumed by the flame during the initial ritual, two of her Daughters of Chaos actually tried to contain the flame from things getting too out of control, and that's what the two things on the left and right are. Whereas she's the actual main thing in the middle. God. Um, oh, boy. I always forget exactly where to go. This is the hardest part, I think. Uh, yeah, those big sweeping attacks. Oh, uh, see, when I say the things, oh no, uh, yeah, that's that's what's gonna. <laughs> All right, this might be a long episode, guys. I'll cut back to uh, sliding down the stairwell. I guess it's more of a ramp, not really stairs though. So the hike back actually isn't too bad. Um, it's more of a problem where if we were using this shortcut and we skipped most of the level. Um, that's a long way back <laughs> to run back there because you have to you have to use the bonfire by the fire sage as well as uh oh, when the floor stays down right, so. um yeah sorry but but to uh, focus on right here but you get to run past the demon run down the long hallway oh god oh no oh no get up get up get up, get up, get up. uh oh all right uh this might be happening a lot here. Oh, yeah, nice. Good dodge, good dodge. Run! Okay, okay. Gotta go this way. Oh. Read it. Oh, no! <laughs> I try not to die, try not to die. Oh, he's healed. It's over there. Oh, God. Let's see, gotta cut through all this. There we go. Definitely gonna quit out of there because <laughs> if you thought it was rough getting into that spot, getting out of that at the second stage like that is really sucky. But um, anyway, <laughs> the witch is starting to take her true form now. Um, although with chaos, is anything really a true form? So now one one last thing we gotta do is right down the middle. Um, I don't think you have to actually do this one last. So you can do left or right first, whichever you prefer. Um, I think I prefer the right. Um, that's just what I usually do. I don't know if any one is actually easier than the other. Anyway, with that, oh boy. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> so yeah, she can do the Chaos Firestorm too. Uh, I didn't think it'd be a one-shot like that. But I guess that's what we get for quitting and reloading. Eh, you know the drill. I'll meet you back there. Okay, let's try to not get firestormed <laughs> this time, maybe. This part's actually not too bad. I find this is, uh, we just gotta make like one jump. And then, uh, that, that, is, that firestorm is what, oh no, please not again. <laughs> this is mean. Uh. Okay, new plan. We're gonna try to just be as fire resistant as we can and see if that let us uh, survive a single hit. Um, okay, I don't have a weapon though, but we can still punch, and I don't think we actually have to do much damage. We just have to do like any damage. Oh, now that is... <laughs> she tried to get us with the Firestorm up there. At least wait for the battle to start, please. Alright, alright, alright. Making progress. We're getting it. Oh, no! <laughs> well, you can be fire resistant, but you can't be sweat resistant. I hope it's becoming clear why like a lot of people don't like this one. <laughs> okay, this is the one. I think this is the one, guys. We've been through a lot. I think we've died enough. <laughs> I don't know how much funnier more deaths are going to be. Okay, at least we can see where we got to go. Right, let's go, let's go. Let's be mindful of swipes. Okay, right hand's coming up. Let's go. Okay, good, good. Ow! Still got me. Heal. Ow. I 
let's, uh, let's fall back for a second here. Uh, this is the one. This is the one. I have an idea of what to do this time. Okay, that's good. That means she's not going to do it for a little while. So we can run in. I think we want to we wanna bait out the swipe. Yep. Pull back. Oh, but the scythe got me. Let's heal real quick. Whoa. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, I stayed in so I'm, I'm slowly getting it down. We gotta, we gotta go in. We gotta bait out that first swipe. We gotta watch out for the scythe. Then we can go in. Now we go. We jump. We don't hesitate. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. We made it. Okay, okay. Run in, run in, run in. Go. Jump, jump. Get your stamina back. Just roll through all these. Get your stamina back. Roll again. Oh my god. And then punch. Yeah! Woo! We actually did it. <laughs> we did it. We killed her while wearing her doctor's clothes. And oh, yeah. So a bonfire just spawned. <laughs> Just like with Seath, for our convenience, we got our her Lord Soul and some humanity. Oh my God, I can't! Play. Wow, you guys, that was uh, that was starting to take a toll on me. If I'll be honest, but here we are. We did it, and we made it out alive. Let's uh, let's spend these souls up. Uh, we'll level up, get our health up a bit more, and let's warp the heck out of here. Let's actually go to the Daughter of Chaos. Gonna have uh, one more thing we can do there now. We have our lava ring. But we'll save that for next episode. Okay, here we are at the Daughter of Chaos. Uh, I did not actually just beat the Bed of Chaos. Um, we're gonna be coming back here shortly in a bit, and I'll try to edit that in smoothly after. We're gonna do one last piece of business that we have here in uh, the Demon Ruins. Um, I figured now's as good a time as any. Just gotta pick up one last item. Now that we have the magma ring, or Orange ring, whatever it's called. The thing that lets us uh, walk on lava. We can uh, go grab a cool item, which is over this way. Um, if you remember, I kind of pointed it out on the way past. But over there, out in the lava fields, all those Taurus demons. Um, see what they're guarding over there? You can kind of see, maybe, that blue dot, uh, which will hopefully be a little better because, um, you know, it was 26 parts in. Uh, I finally noticed on the uh, on my video editing software, which I used Wondershare from Aura 9 or 10, I think now, for the record. It, uh, it turns out it wasn't automatically putting the highest quality video. Hooray <laughs> for my 26 parts of potato quality. Um, I did look them over knowing this, and um, it's actually not as bad as I was worried about. But still, hopefully the audio will be a little, I read the video, will be a little better. Uh, speaking of the audio though, I did uh, get a new microphone for, uh, or headset for Christmas, so if I do sound a little different, um, that's why. I don't know if the sound sounds much better or worse, um, but okay, if we can jump, jump, okay. Oh, okay, he hugs, oh, uh, no, I was going to say he helped us up. Oh boy, ah, we're dead. <laughs> well, that I really think I'd be able to play without dying at least once. Um, anyway, so... Oh, yeah, ooh, yeah, don't, don't worry about why we're back here. <laughs> uh, some me attempting to make a smooth transition and forgetting to actually rest at the bonfire when I got back. May as well leave it in, show you guys my mistakes. Rest at the bonfire this time. And maybe try not to die. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. I'm trying to be all fancy, use my fire stuff. If you're going for this item that we're going for before you get the ring, you're going to want to do what I did here to like sort of minimize the uh, fire damage you got to take because um, you can get it. It's just you're going to have like one second before you're dead. So, but with our ring, we actually have more time than I thought. And considering how uh, easily we were able to kill the um, Taurus demons, Say, so, uh, let's actually fight our way through. That should be, uh, hopefully be a little bit more entertaining. I mean, I'm sure watching me just get plastered is just as entertaining. <laughs> if not more. But hey, let's, uh, let's see what a Black Knight Sword Plus 5 will do. 
against uh, the 11 Taurus demons that are down there or so. I don't know. But we'll feel strong. I don't know how far we've come. The thing is, though, that the uh, Taurus demon... And I forget if I did this, but... If you get yourself this Vihander and you put some uh, lightning resin on there, uh, you can like do half of his health with the plunging attack that they give you. Which does um, make the fight kind of easy. And then in New Game Plus, uh, when we eventually get to it, you can definitely one-shot <laughs> the Taurus Demon. Because uh, the thing with New Game Plus, and we'll definitely talk more about this when we're actually in New Game Plus, is that it's... Uh, everything gets harder right like i think all the enemies health gets higher and so you're going to definitely notice that more in the later parts of the game but since you're going into it with a bunch of end game gear the curve doesn't quite catch up for the beginning part of the game and then that actually ends up being very easy so anyway here uh let's see i guess we'll, okay try to just lower a few at a time i won't go like too cheap get only one at a time let's try to finish this guy off whoa Okay, didn't do as much damage as I was worried about. So we back up and heal. We have to bait out an attack. Ooh, we got lucky there. Ow. Okay. And there we go. Alright, three down. And only four to go. Oh wow, there's only seven here. I don't know why I thought there were 11. Like, that number specifically was in my head for some reason. Anyway, we got to around here. I think I was talking about my new headset. <laughs> I don't know if there's much more to say. I got a new headset. Um, I'm noticing it's better in some ways and worse in the other. Like, um, I think overall the quality is slightly better. But it is way worse with, like, any... I noticed... Oh, God. In the last two videos, I'm so sorry. That, uh, anytime I breathe out hard, it's just like... <laughs> just, it's so bad. So I'm uh, trying to position the mic properly on uh, relative to my face to like not pick that up as bad. And if we get another one, I think we already got one of those, so not a big deal. But again, um, you know, I'm not, I don't have my own high quality studio in here. I gotta sort of make do with what I got. And what I got is oh, wow, I completely with that. What I got is just a little gaming headset. Oh. Okay, this is kind of scary. Like, we're able to kill them fast, but I think it still took a lot of damage. Whoa, I thought I was dead there for sure. Ooh. Yeah, the tricky thing is when you've got two attacks coming, you got to be careful and try to dodge them both at the same time. Which is much easier said than done. Anyway. With all the enemies out of the way, let's see what we're here to get. Uh, okay, so this is what we saw in the distance, but this isn't actually the main thing we're looking for. Um, can I actually... How do you get up there? Ah, that's kind of weird. Another solid item. Yeah, not, not a big deal. Not, not seven Taurus Demons worth. But this over here. This is a special item. Uh, something we've kind of seen before. Right? It's the Chaos Flame Ember, yes. So this is how you make the um, those special Chaos Weapons. And uh, Chaos Weapons are unique. They're, they do fire damage, right? But the difference between them and a fire weapon... And I have to run back because I did not bring a homeward bone. <laughs> But the difference between that and a, um, a fire weapon is that chaos weapons actually scale with how much humanity you have, which is a very uh, unique type of weapon you'll make there. And I believe you'll want 10 humanity is the most it can scale with. I could be wrong. It could scale all the way up to 99 humanity. Um, it's a common weapon type for uh, sort of like PvP min-max builds, as in like... Uh, you know, you're putting your stats into, like, all of your health. That way you're, like, really annoying to kill. But you're using a chaos weapon, so you can just pump up your humanity, and now you're doing as much damage as someone who responsibly put their uh, stats into a reasonable and even distribution. But yeah, chaos weapons are cool. I recommend trying at least one out. The uh, the famous giant dad build. 
uses a uh, Chaos Vihander, which is a very potent weapon. You can just spam R1 and stomach and game builds <laughs> in one shot. Um, let's see, we don't usually come this way, but yeah, here's the entrance. Alrighty, and with the fire here, let's just warp to the, uh, to the Daughter of Chaos, and we'll just cut back to the original footage. Either way, let's, uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of editing to do. Oh, ooh, that's right, actually, real quick while we're here. Now that we, once you do all three of Kirk's invasions, uh, his armor is going to be here for you. Yes, this whole time, Kirk, he was a Chaos Servant. Yep, all this, he wasn't being too malicious with his invasions. Well, he was, but his purpose was just he was getting some humanity for Milady here. But we are, we're done with this covenant. We don't care anymore. So let's uh, move on with our lives and call it an episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We did it. We made it. Um, let's go with a proper bow. Thank you from, so much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, may or may not have <laughs> enjoyed the last hour of my life. But once it's all edited and up on YouTube, I think you guys will definitely have a fun time with it. So let's uh, let's do something pyromancy. See you guys next time. Okay, that was kind of lame. Let's uh, maybe hit the camera. See you guys next time.